Ah, since we're already pulled back the curtain a little bit here, why not go maybe a little bit further now, making some people really nervous? Uh, how would you like to talk about Magic Kingdom? Uh, Woo! Yeah. I mean, please. All right, Chris, if I recall, you were the creative director for New Fantasyland. And I guess up until like right now, that was the largest expansion in Magic Kingdom history. Uh, yes, I mean, Magic Kingdom holds a special place in my heart. Um, I think there are so many amazing stories yet to be told, uh, lands yet to be explored. Trust me when I say this, at Magic Kingdom, we're always thinking about what is next. And one of the con concepts we're most excited about is this, this idea of new frontiers. Um, let, me give you a, let me give you an example. So Josh, do you ever wonder if you could travel to the other side of Big Thunder Mountain, what could be there? Uh, yeah, uh, and, I'm, <laughs> and I'm sure that there are about 7,000 people in the audience probably who wonder, what exactly is beyond Big Thunder? All right, well, that's what we're exploring. Okay. So we're exploring. All right, so okay. go with me. Everyone go with me. So let's take this journey. Imagine, imagine, what if we could pass over those spires of Big Thunder? <clears throat> and maybe, maybe, maybe in front of us. There's a valley, there's a valley in front of us with, with the little town of Santa Celia, Mexico. And, and they're celebrating Dia de los Muertos. And what if, what if, what if we can climb aboard the back of Albria and fly into the land of the dead with our familia, just like the Riveras in Coco? That's what could be out there. Of course, I mean, I, I'm just asking, what if we do want to talk about Bruno? Bruno. <laughs> you hear that, you hear that, John. I'm sure you know that there are many of us at Disney Animation who cannot wait to see more Encanto in the parks. I, I mean, who we get it? No one could bring a magical house to life like Disney Imagineering. What if you could walk into the Madrigal Casita, just saying, meet the family. What if Maribel is your guide, introducing you to all the wonder within those walls? Bruno's tower, Antonio's room, all of it, all of it. What if you could step up to a door and discover your own magical gift? What if? <laughs> Jennifer is not gonna stop. And you know what, she shouldn't. These types of ideas are exactly why I'm so glad you are both here today talking to our biggest fans about what could be on the horizon here. So let's let's talk about one more. I thought we talked that we were not. No, 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 no. All right. One more. All right. Chris, come on. <laughs> All right. Do it, do it. Yes, let's do it. Let's All share. Right. Well, listen, I, I know this one is not planned anytime soon, but it's it's something that we know all of you talk about. The fun idea is always in the back of our minds, and it's an area overrun by villains. shared another early concept or thought starter for the Magic Kingdom 2. Well, I mean, come on. You already called me a whip once, so I guess I'm just going to go ahead. Just go We're just going for it now, right? All right, let's roll. Let's show it. So, uh, once again, this is the thought starter, uh, but you can see here the villains looming overhead with Casa Montreal in the distance, and then we arrive at Santa Cecilia. Um, that's what could be out there beyond Big Thunder Mountain. This looks, this looks fantastic.